Hello everyone, my name is uh, Mukesh Doble. So I work in the area of uh, biomaterials and um, I have some of my research scholars here. I'm Govin. I'm working in the area of uh, biomaterials and drug delivery systems. Uh, mainly I'm working on uh, biodegradable uh, orthopedic implants. Hi, my name is Anju. I'm also working on biomaterials. Uh, basically, my work is on bacterial glucans. Uh, which uh, have applications in drug delivery and wound healing. Hi, I'm Rubaya. I'm working on uh, biomaterial applications of uh, biodegradable polymer called Curdlan, which is a linear glucan. I'm going to deliver a course on medical biomaterials in the next uh, 40 lectures for about 20 hours. As you know, biomaterials is one of the most uh, important emerging areas in research as well as in uh, technology development. As you know, most of the human parts are being now replaced or augmented or improved using materials. It could be a metal like stainless steel implants or it could be a titanium stent or it could be a polymer, biodegradable polymer or a drug delivery polymer which, uh, give, which gives out drug after it degrades or it could be a ceramic material or even a, a biopolymer which degrades or completely gets resorbed or it could be a combination of all these things. And it's uh, believed that uh, by 2020, the biomaterial market could be in the order of 150 billion US dollars. That's a huge amount. And uh, India is also going to be emerging in the area of biomaterial research. So this uh, area could be a very good uh, um, one to work on as a research career. Um, the human parts are being replaced starting from uh, dental implants or orthodontic applications, cardiovascular stents. Um, or uh, orthopedic implants, knee replacement, drug delivery system, cardiovascular stents as well as diaphragms, um, urethral stents. So all these are currently used and um, some of them are used for maybe few hours like your urinary catheter or some of them remains in the body for the rest of the life, maybe a knee replacement uh, or a cardiovascular stent. And um, some have to face a very harsh environment like a urine, some of them face mild environment like a blood contacting devices. So the biomaterials have to be serving different purposes for different durations as well as in different environments. So design of uh, such material is not uh, going to be uniform, it will vary depending upon the duration as well as uh, uh, the location of the material. So there is a lot of scope for one to do research and um, that's why as I said it's an emerging area of research. So for the next uh, 40 lectures I hope uh, you listen to the lectures and I'm also going to have some demonstrations and I hope you enjoy that and uh, after each uh, module we will also have uh, uh, a small uh, test and the test will help you to recapitulate what you had and um, listen to the lectures. I hope uh, we'll meet again in the forthcoming lectures.